good morning children let us discuss about the history lesson a vital villages and thriving towns so in previous classes we have learned about the uh, how the development was taken place how they used the iron tools and also that we have learned about the rome the from the rome they used to send and import the some of the materials like a pottery glass materials in the place of the archimedes we have learned so let us learn about the room find out on map 6 page number 76 this is one of the oldest cities in the europe and developed around the same time as the cities in the ganga valley so how the cities were developed in our country near the ganga valley in the same way there also the cities were developed rome was the capital of one of the largest empires one that spread across the europe it is the like a uh, what we have seen in previous classes uh, and the capital cities they made the villages become a Uh, big towns the janapadas become a maha janapadas pataliputra we have seen now the archimedes also place located in the um, pandicherry and it is the very very important shipyard uh, to uh, export and import the goods also even in the rome also it is uh, north africa and west asia augustus one of the most important emperors who ruled about 2000 years ago so the person augustus one of the most important emperors who ruled about 2000 years ago said that found rome a city of brick and made it into a city of marble marble also so it is the city 2000 years ago he said it is the city of brick we can see side the picture also we can see how they constructed it and it is the city of brick and made it into a city of marble also he and later rulers built temples and places and along with the augustus and other rulers also they constructed the more temples and palace also they also built huge amphitheaters <coughs> open arenas surrounded by tiers of seats where citizens could watch all kinds of shows and public baths all baths with separate timings with separate timings for men and women also so here you can see the side it is the an aqueduct it is the place and constructed with the bricks and also it is beautiful to see surrounding of the city also and they made the public bath to take the bath also public bath for the men and women separate timings are there where people met and relaxed also and they constructed the place the people can gather and they relax themselves by seeing of by enjoying up in this particular places also huge aqueducts and canals to supply water were built to bring water to the city for the baths fountains and toilets also so here like a, if you see in the picture like a aqueducts they constructed and for this also the canals to supply water were built to bring water to the city they made the beautiful canals to supply water for the city also and for taking up the bath public purpose only and fountains and toilets separate toilets and fountains means the water sprinkling of the waters also it is there so it is the we can say it is a beautiful city and rome it is the beautiful city under the augustus 2000 years ago only with plan 
they constructed from this place from the rome they used to send the some of the materials glass materials pottery design and everything they used to import and they used to export the different kinds of the materials also so children here you can see that the about the room and in map also we can find out and other information what we have learned about the iron tools we have learned and also the development of the coins and about the room we have learned the place of the archimedes important place of the archimedes was located in the pandicherry we have learned so you have to read the lesson understand the more information thank you